At the conclusion of the previous video, you should have a timeline that resembles something like this, where you have some black video and several of your images lined up, lasting for five seconds. In this video, what we will do is take a look at how we can change the duration or the amount of time for each of these clips, and then also a quick way that we can edit an image already on the timeline within Photoshop. So first of all, right now each of these images is lasting for 5 seconds. So if I push the space bar or the play button here, you can see that each image is lasting for 5 seconds and you may want to change that. And so we'll take a look at how we can do that for all of these images at one time. So the first step is to make sure you are on the selection tool. You can go ahead and select all of these images within the image you can right click on any one of these and then access speed and duration and there we can see that we are currently set at five seconds now if I want to change that to say three seconds what I could do is click on there and type in three zero zero so that's three seconds and no frames. Now if I click OK you'll see that what happens is that we end up with a bunch of blank space here because it reduced these by two seconds leaving this two second gap which is really we, we could take care of that by moving these and eliminating that space. We could also do a ripple delete but this is all very time consuming. So let's go back in time here and like we can do in Photoshop we do have a history window and there's change clip speed. So I'll go right before that to get back to where we were. So a faster way to change the speed is to go ahead and select all of those. Go ahead and right click again speed and duration. Once again change that to 3. But this time we choose this option, Ripple Edit, Shifting Trailing Clips. And so what it will do is automatically eliminate that black space that we create when we change the duration of the clip. So I'll select that and there we have it. So now each clip is lasting for 3 seconds. If I want each clip to last for just one second, right click, speed duration, one, zero, zero, ripple edit, and we're moving obviously quite a bit faster through those images. Go ahead and practice that with several different speeds, make sure you can do that. I've put my images back to five seconds and the last thing that we'll take a look at is you could easily come across a situation where you want to make some type of an adjustment to the image within Photoshop and so what you can do is that while the image is right on the timeline for example suppose I want to brighten up this image here of Jesus so I could right click it and then select edit in Photoshop and once the image opens in Photoshop I'll go ahead and just do a quick adjustment here And I can save that. And if I come back into Premiere Pro, it automatically updates. And so I did not have to remove it from the timeline or re import the image into Premiere Pro. So that's a real nice feature. So practice changing the time. And then if you have any images that you want to edit a little bit, you can go ahead and do that. And then have me come by and verify that you have completed Video 7.